Hi, I'm Michael. I'm Drew. Uh, we created a uh, pick-based uh, dance game uh, that we, we affectionately call Dance Dance Evolution based on kind of the, the game Dance Dance Revolution. So we feed in audio from an external audio source, whether it be a phone or a computer. In this case, computer. Uh, we buffer it on one pick, it plays a few seconds later. This one. In the meantime, on the other pick, we do audio processing using the discrete wavelet transform and the Haar wavelet to basically detect uh, what beats are coming, and then we transform, we, we uh, convert that into arrow sequences. Uh, arrow sequences uh, which tell you how to move your feet. Exactly, right. exactly. which are then shown on the computer. So, so, so the Mac is merely a display for the pick. And yeah. it's a scoring mechanism as yeah. well. Okay. So yeah, the Mac has a score. Um, it has the um, outline arrows of the ones that you're currently pressing. So if you were to press the left arrow, for example, okay, so let me, let me, so you're so you're tapping on the bottom arrow now and the left arrow, and that and that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, got it. And it, okay. it'll light up. All right. And when music plays, new arrows will appear from the bottom, and you just have to hit them. You have to hit these. The as they the arrow, hit the top, in. okay. Um, and all the information is sent from this pick over UART to the Mac, and the Mac just reads um, the UART transmissions um, to, do, to make those displays. And you chose wavelet transforms because? Uh, because, so we wanted to do something that was really kind of computationally efficient because we knew we were limited for cycles, and uh, wavelet transforms seemed like a really kind of interesting, cool way to do it. Yeah. Okay. Do you wanna do you wanna play it? Yeah, let's sure. do it. Let's do well, let's start with Highway to Hell. Alright. This is just right off my computer. It takes a few seconds to buffer. As soon as the drums kick in, you should start seeing some arrows. It's pretty hard. It, it's very difficult. Uh, but you can actually get on top of it. it it's somewhat fragile. <laughs> I, I really wish I uh, But yeah. And um, we can handle other types of music. It adapts to the, the different thresholds. So if we play something like a country song, um, give it some time to adapt to the the new beat frequency. And by adaption, you mean it's setting thresholds someplace dynamically? Yeah, so the, yeah, it does some averaging to figure out the average um, frequency kind of amplitude or whatever the wavelet produces, and then it checks for peaks um, against that. Uh, and play the techno songs? Okay. The techno song, I really like how it works. So I have to go like three minutes in, right? That's fine. Yeah, this, this should be good. So this would be like an easier one. Alright, here we go. Not so good at kind of hip hop or uh, jazz or slower music. Anything that's kind of smoother is, is not really good. Yeah. You, you yeah. mean you mean the the, the algorithm yeah. has a tendency to, to, to fail because you're either either it detects far too many beats or it doesn't detect anything at all. Okay, so because there's just not enough dynamic range in the in the music. Yeah. <laughs> This one's cool because it gets, it slowly kind of builds up with the drum in the background. So, as the drum in the background starts hitting more, um, more and more arrows start coming. And when the bass drops, it also... <laughs> Nice. Can you do that one? Oh god, no. <laughs> it's kind of ironic. We're both really bad at it. 
We're a little too nervous to actually jump up and down. Right, which, you, which you'd have to do to get power, to get speed, yeah. you have to get power, right? Yeah. 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 If we were to do this again, we may um, choose a different mat style. Um, currently, they're raised up on bolts. And um, yeah, if they were more flat on the ground, less harm of like ripping them apart when you're jumping yeah. up and down. Okay. I see, yeah, yeah. And the score is kind of logarithmic based on how close you are to actually hitting it. Do you want to play, Bruce? Man, am I out of beat on that one. <laughs> the hard part is, as soon as Whew. the center of the arrow reaches above the center of the outline yeah. of the arrow, you can't hit it anymore. Uh -huh. So if people try and hit it spot on every time, they're most likely going to miss because their reaction time is just a little too right. slow in combination with the time it takes to read the IO and then send it to the back. Got it. Um, okay. <laughs> 